not kind of a clean slate, unfortunately, in New Orleans. And you're thinking positively, thinking you can rebuild there. Do you think that's going to be a template for other communities in the United States? I think there's a tremendous the opportunity to do that. Your family's okay? You're living in New Jersey. My Relocated, family's fine. Right. Right. Good. They miss right. home, but uh, they're happy here. And your book, again, Prescription for a Healthy Nation, which talks about a lot of this, written right. far before Hurricane Katrina was even right. anything that we ever knew about. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thanks. letting me be here. Thanks. And we will be right back. A few sports recaps, because you guys would be, well, you don't want to know if I had to recap news. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jim. All right. A lot more ahead on I want to Tell from this <laughs> angle. Sunday morning. October 2nd, 2005, heading somewhere tropical, I hope, although it's pretty nice around here, too. I know, it's gorgeous. Good Sunday morning to you. I'm Jeff Rossiton for Joe Torres. Bloody Mary's maybe on the uh, yacht cruise ship. She's still thinking about what to Michelle Charles worth. I don't know. Janine Anderson, what is your drink in the morning of choice? Actually, mine is coffee, truth be told. But um, it is gorgeous. I hope they're having a good time out there. Well, Michelle, first got to say, this time of morning, Dr. Pepper, something with a little yeah, caffeine right? in it. But you're <laughs> right. It is very nice outside right now. Temperature-wise, nice and comfortable. Take a look at AccuTrack. We've got 43 just south of Newton, around the five boroughs. We get into the 50s, just south of Holbrook, 64 degrees right now. Temperatures just looking fantastic out there. Now here's what's going on folks. We've got high pressure, uh, nice high pressure ridge, huge in, char in charge of the entire uh, northeast and the good news is it will stick around into tomorrow bringing us dry conditions and uh, definitely clear skies. You can see hardly anything going on across the tri-state area as well as the northeast and take a look at your planner for today. 8 o'clock we'll get up to around 60 degrees. Nice and comfortable start to our Sunday. This afternoon we'll get up to 75, 4 o'clock, 78 Eight degrees for our high temperature today. Definitely above normal for this time of year, but hey, we'll take it. I'll have the rest of your AccuWeather forecast in just a little bit midweek last week and it looks like that stretch will continue as we head into the middle of this week. Take a look at your AccuWeather five day outlook. We'll get up to 78 degrees for our high temperature with plenty of sunshine as we head into the start of the work week. Temperatures will get even better. 80 degrees on Monday, 80 degrees on Tuesday. Then we'll have a few clouds start to push its way into the area uh, late Tuesday and Wednesday with scattered showers uh, late in the evening Wednesday and early on for our Thursday. Now we haven't had any wet weather in a long time so weather will be welcomed across the area but for the most part just a dry stretch has been definitely a pleasure. Go out for nice. a run today. It's gorgeous. Yeah, right. Exactly. Walk a run, a, dog, a walk, walk, whatever. Here. Just go outside and stand there Thanks if you want to. It's just Make fantastic. it a good one. <laughs> Thank you. That'll do it for this edition of Eyewitness News Sunday morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jeff Ross. And I'm Michelle Charles with Good Morning America Weekend with Bill and Juju. Right to it. It's Hurricane Otis. Some good news here. It was downgraded overnight. That's a look at what's going on across the nation this morning. Now, here's what's happening right outside your window. Thank you. And good morning, everyone. I'm Janine Anderson. Well, it is looking fantastic. And that's a look at your national picture, Bill. Okay, Kaylee, thank If you could turn your weekend hobby into a full-time profession, would you quit your day job? That's the question we're going to ask. Hmm. Yes. In a moment, we'll tell you how one woman turned her passion for kayaking into a profitable day indoors and pull out those Halloween decorations. Your national forecast coming up in just a moment. I do want to talk about what's going on across the nation now. Here's what's happening right outside your window. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Janine Anderson. Well, we've got plenty of sunshine on... And this weather report has been brought to you by Monster.com. Bill? All right, thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great week, everybody. <laughs> Remark, very nice as you head back to work. Here's a look at conditions right outside at Central Park, 65 degrees. The humidity at 78%, the barometer is steady. We've got light winds, and it looks like our high temperature for today got up to 80 degrees. Our normal high, 69 degrees. So temperature-wise, we did pretty good with the uh, very warm temperatures. Here's a look at some of the other temperatures across the northern suburbs, mainly in the 50s, 53 Danbury. As we head around the five boroughs, temperatures get just a little bit warmer. Newark, 67 degrees. We've got 62 JFK, 59 degrees as we head to Islip. And we can thank this very nice weather on this area of high pressure. It's been in control of the entire northeast over the past couple of days, and it looks like it will stick around into the start of the work week. Take a look at radar and satellite. You can see clear skies around the tri-state area, also the entire northeast. It is nice and dry, but it looks like as we head into the middle of the week, that's when we can see some rain. It's been dry over the past couple of days. We definitely need some rain. You can see this cold front bringing scattered showers and thunderstorms around the Great Lakes region as that front pushes its way east. We'll get a little bit of that weather, wet weather as we head into Wednesday. So here's what's in store for your Monday. High pressure still anchored just offshore. Very warm on Monday. It's going to feel like summer-like temperatures once again for Monday and Tuesday. So here's the story. 60 degrees for tonight, a cool night on tap, but nice and comfortable. Then tomorrow we'll get up to 82 degrees. We've got a gorgeous Monday in store. And as I said, middle of the week, you will need the umbrellas. Here's your AccuWeather forecast. 7